at the Lake Charles port. This ship behind me is getting loaded with about 30,000 metric tons of rice. This Louisiana rice production sends in ultimately 120,000 metric tons of rice. This ship right here will hold about 30,000, so you, you're talking about a lot of work for a lot of men. These men, is about 100 of them employed because they're shipping by bag. These men, when they work, they work 700 cumulative hours in a year to get their medical benefits. These men working, they loading these ships over the course of the next couple of months, they're gonna have earned their medical benefits for the whole year. It's a complete win. One ship's about 53,000 acres of production of rice. Complete win for America, for Louisiana, for the world. American farmers feed the world. Port of Lake Charles ships it. This is what 30,000 metric tons of rice looks like. Unreal. As far as the eye can see in this warehouse, there's men hustling and working to get it loaded. Massive stacks of pallets of rice. This is Louisiana rice going to feed folks across the world and in Iraq specifically. There's about 27,000 metric tons left in the warehouse because the rest of it's on the boat already. Louisiana agriculture. Take a deep look. We're just gonna keep winning. These hardworking guys, man. Busting their ass, earning their living. American agriculture, Louisiana agriculture, America's poorest, Louisiana's poorest, Lake Charles. We all have to work together. It requires congressional effort to get things like this done. That's what we're going to continue to do.